Good morning. I am Technician Ziana Parrish with the Denver Police Recruiting Unit, and on behalf of Chief Ron Thomas and the Denver Police Department, I welcome each of you to this promotion ceremony. Today, 11 sworn members of the department are being promoted to the ranks of Lieutenant and Sergeant. These 11 members of the department seated here today have devoted a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy to get to this very moment and are now being recognized for their skills and accomplishments. We look forward to seeing them continue building their legacies in their new leadership roles. And so far in their Denver police careers, they have already served the Denver community for a combined 140 years. At this time, will you please stand if you are able for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain, Father Dang. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in times past, you raised up leaders for your people to provide for them guidance and directions. We thank you that you have called forth on today these leaders who will be celebrating their promotions. We thank you for their hard work and determinations through which they have earned and respect of their peers as they step into positions of increased responsibility. We ask you to grant them wisdom in their decisions and courage in their leadership through them, bring about good for our city and our Denver Police Department. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you, Father Dang. Please be seated. Operating an effective and innovative police department requires the hard work, talent, and dedication of sworn and civilian personnel, and the support of our public and private partners in the community. I now like to take a few moments to introduce our special guest and members of our command staff, and ask that we hold our applause until the end. Please stand to be recognized when your name is called. Executive Director of the Department of Safety, Armando Sadate. Department of Safety Chief of Staff, Jeffrey Holliday. Chief of Police, Ron Thomas. Deputy Chief of Police, Joe Montoya. Division Chief of Investigations, Rick Kyle. Division Chief of Patrol, Aaron Sanchez. Division Chief of Administration, Megan Dodge. 
Again, representing our Denver Police Chaplains Unit is Father Dang. District 2 Councilman Kevin Flynn. District 6 Councilman Paul Cashman. District 7 Councilwoman Flora Alvarez. District, Denver District Attorney Beth McCann. Department of Safety Chief Compliance Officer Mary Dulacki. Chief of Safety Financial Officer Sinead Cummings. Denver Fire Chief Desmond Fulton. Deputy Chief of Paramedics Brent Stevenson. Emergency Communications Director Andrew Dameron. Independent Monitor Lizbeth Castle. Executive Director of the Denver Civil Service Nisi Murray. Denver Civil Service Commissioner Noah Stout and our Denver Police Senior Leadership Staff, District 1 Commander Edward Ledger. Filling in for District 2 Commander Carlos Aragon is Lieutenant Kevin Curtis. District 3 Commander Joel Bell. District 4 Commander Brad Qualley. District 5 Commander Marion Penn. District 6 Commander Kimberly Bowser. Airport Police Division Commander, Mark Chuck. Major Crimes Division Commander, Matt Clark. Internal Affairs Bureau, Commander Steve Addison. Filling in for Commander Paul Jimenez with the Strategic Investigations Bureau is Lieutenant Aaron Kaffer. Conduct Review Division, Commander Hans Levins. Special Operations Division, Commander Michael O'Donnell. Diversity, Equity, and Support Bureau, Commander Michelle Fulmer. Operational Innovation Unit, Commander Jacob Herrera. Crisis Service Bureau Director, Chris Richardson. Representing Strategic Initiatives Bureau Director, Philip Gonshak, is Program Manager, Elisa DiTrolio. Community Engagement Bureau, Marie Dabis. Communications Bureau Director, Doug Shetman. Identification Bureau, Daniel Everett. Please join me in applauding their dedicated service to our community. At this time, I'd like to invite Executive Director Saldate to share his thoughts on today's promotions. Thank you and good morning. Um, it's really a pleasure to be with you all here today. These are some of my uh, promotion ceremonies and graduations and anytime we can get here and celebrate is always a making of a good day. I wanted to acknowledge a couple of people. As we go through the list of people to acknowledge, we always miss a, a couple, but I just wanted to first acknowledge Councilwoman at Large and Co-Chair of Safety Committee, uh, Councilwoman Serena Gonzalez Gutierrez. I also see some command staff here from the Denver Sheriff's Department. I don't see you all. I see Major Happ, Major Bruning, and Major Orozco. Thank you all for being here on behalf of the Sheriff's Office. Um, and, and I want to thank also all those here that may be representing other jurisdictions, other law enforcement, first responders, and those that have served our armed forces. Um, gratitude for all that you do. Um, first off, I, I really uh, want to talk about um, our new mayor, Mayor Mike Johnston. He is sorry he could not be here this morning. Uh, he was trying to make it. Um, he, his schedule has become out of control. I know that he, um, I think me and Chief Thomas can relate to really being busy, but his schedule seems even more uncontrollable. So he is sorry he could not be here. He extends his congratulations to you all. Um, and he wishes you safety and you have his support. I can talk about that support that he has for this department because I see it firsthand. Um, every time I have an opportunity to speak with him and talk to him or brief him, one of the first questions he asks is, how are our officers doing? Um, he really has been appreciative of the efforts you all have made in supporting Housing 1000 um, as we are all preparing for the brutal temperatures we're going to experience this weekend 
in this week coming up, we're all reminded how dangerous it is to work outside. Um, in fact, Chief Thomas and I were on a call yesterday with city leaders as we're planning for the Marade, and we're worried about people in the cold that they're going to be out there as we celebrate uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, and, you know, people were also saying, well, how about our cops that are going to be out there and our first responders? And it's almost a given, like, you're always out there, right? And, and it, it, was, it was nice that people were also considering, you know, our first responders that would be out in this cold. Um, I've seen it firsthand. I see it as I drive through the city and also I'm out at these encampments. You are all out there and you're leading with such compassion for folks that are in, in horrendous conditions. And I really want to talk about that and extend the message I have to you is about gratitude. Um, when I was thinking about what I would talk about today, I try to have a special message around leadership or something that might, might inspire. But then I was thinking about what, was, what I was truly feeling. And in these past several months, and then I look back at just the years since the pandemic, one thing I've been eternally grateful for is those of you in uniform, especially those with the Denver Police Department. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of turmoil, crisis, criticism. But what I continually see, and steadfastly see, is you show up. You answered the call. You answered the call to our community when COVID hit. You were all out there still answering calls when we had this unknown virus that was just wreaking havoc in our, in our community. You've answered the call when we had protests and unrest in our city. You've answered the call since crisis and crisis that we've had since then, including the homelessness crisis and now what we're experiencing with newcomers coming to our city that have literally in some cases walked 3,000 miles to get here. They don't speak our language. They, they're not prepared for our, our temperatures. Yet you all are out there trying to help them succeed and help them get be, be safe in our community. Every time there's a crisis or there's something, a critical incident in our city, and we, unfortunately we've had probably too many, I get notification of, of what we've done and what our response is. Every time I get that notification though, it typically is also, there's information about the heroic acts that our, our folks are out there doing, how you mitigated violent crime, how you saved lives. Every time I, I put, put down the phone in the middle of the night or I, put, or I answer that text, I just say thank you, and, but that, that's not enough. Um, first of all, I, I have just the, the being thankful and the pride that I have in being one of the leaders of, of your departments is, is amazing. Be able to, to, to represent you all is amazing because what you do, what you do every day in our community, what you do with your families and everything. So I'd also like to just extend my gratitude to your loved ones and the family members that are here today. They wouldn't be here without you. Your steadfast support through all the crises that we've been through, your uh, support of them and their careers, what they do is not easy. Um, and lastly, I want to say thank you for answering the call again. So not only do you answer the call to go out there and serve our community, you all are answering the call to lead. That's not easy, especially leading through times of crisis, especially leading employees that are dealing with these crises and things that we've had to deal with. And to take on that extra responsibility when not a lot of people are and, and wanting to answer the call, is truly um, admirable. So thank you for everything and I really appreciate it. Be safe. Thank you, Executive Director Saldate. And now Chief Thomas would like to share his words of encouragement with the leaders being promoted today. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, you know, thank you all for being here for such a, a special day. It's not just special for these individuals that sit here. It's a special day for the Denver Police Department. It's certainly a special day for, for you all. And I, um, I thank you all for, for joining me here today. Um, I always like to begin by thanking the friends and loved ones of these promotees. Um, you know, I think we all understand, you know, the sacrifices made every day, but you all deserve special recognition for the support that you've uh, given these supportees uh, during the times that they've needed you know, people to take up the slack um, and you know, when they had to put in the extra work in order to prepare for this day. Um, but I wanna caution you all that, uh, that their need for strong support does not end today. 
Um, in fact, I, I think it, it grows from this day forward. Um, you know, they are going to, to, to need your support because they're not going to just be responsible for their own uh, actions. They're going to be responsible for the actions of others. And so uh, they'll continue to need uh, your support. Now, to the promotees, you know, I, I gave a lot of thought, as the director did, about what I would, what I would uh, say to you. And, you know, it occurs to me that you all understand policing. You all are veteran officers. You all understand policing. The fact that you sit right here demonstrates the fact that you um, have already, you know, you've already mastered um, law enforcement leadership um, uh, techniques and, and management skills. Um, so I thought what I would do is, is maybe a little bit of a social experiment, if, if the, those in the crowd will indulge me. So I have a, I have a $100 bill here. Now, now full disclosure, um, I don't walk around with this much money. I literally just came from the credit union. <clears throat> but if I was to offer this $100 bill uh, to each of you, who would, who would take it? Now don't, yeah, don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't be shy, because I know your loved ones are out there sitting on the crowd saying, heck, I know you just got uh, promoted and you got a little bit of a raise, but that's $100. Like, uh, you, know, you know, that'll help pay for the, you know, for the dinner that we're about to have to celebrate your promotion. So I know each one of you would take this $100 bill. What if I, what if I folded it in half? What if, I, what if I took one of the corners and crumpled it a little bit? Would you still take it? Of course you would. What if I what if I balled it up? What if I put it on the ground and got it dirty? Still take it? I'm sure. I'm sure. Why is that? Because it's still a hundred dollars. It's not lost its value. Now I'm going to have to go back to the credit union because my granddaughter's not going to appreciate this social experiment. But the, the, the lesson here is this. You all are going to have folks working for you um, that are going to be tired, that are going to be frayed, uh, that are going to be beaten down, that are going to feel less than. But they're probably going to need somebody that is going to let them know that they still have value. So uh, please remember that. And uh, I want to congratulate you all on your well-deserved promotions. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Thomas. Now, with the assistance of Executive Director Saldate and Chief Thomas, we will begin our badge and certificate presentations. When each name is called, the officer and those who will be pinning on their badge are invited to come up on the stage. Those who will be joining their officer on stage are asked to meet Technician Dominguez to the family staging area to the right of the stage before your officer's name is called. The order of the officers being called is in your program. Please note that department photographers will be taking individual pictures of each officer during badge and certificate presentations. And with that, let's begin. Lieutenant Jeffrey Masiangelo. Lieutenant Jeffrey Masiangelo. Yes. Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Lieutenant Jeffrey Masliangelo began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 10th of 2005. Lieutenant Masliangelo's previous DPD assignments include District 4 Patrol, the SCAT Marijuana Team Detective, District 4 Patrol Sergeant, Fentanyl Investigation Sergeant. He has earned Life Saving Award, Distinguished Service Cross Award, the Merit Award, Top Cop, Chief Unit Citation, and nine official accommodations. His new assignment will be Front Range Task Force. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife, Vanessa, his daughter, Sophia, and son, Brody. <laughs> Lieutenant Maria Cameron Aldridge. Lieutenant Maria Cameron Aldridge began serving with the Denver Police Department on November 1st of 1999. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice and Criminology from Metro State University. Lieutenant Cameron Aldridge is previous 
Denver police assignments include officer and technician in District 1, corporal in District 1, sergeant in District 3, sergeant of Internal Affairs Division, sergeant in the Major Crimes Missing and Exploited Persons Unit, sergeant of Public Nuisance and Abatement, and sergeant of Professional Development Unit. She has earned multiple official commendations and commentary letters and a STAR Award. Her new assignment will be Chief of Staff for the Division Chief of Administration and Division Chief of Investigations. Joining her on stage to pin her new badge is her father, retired Corporal Daniel Cameron, mother Rose Cameron, husband Detective Ethan Aldridge, and daughter Emma Parton. Michael Green. Sergeant Michael Green began serving with the Denver Police Department on December 28, 2015. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science from University of Colorado, Denver. Sergeant Green's previous DPD assignments include District 1. He has earned the Preservation of Life Award. His new assignment will be District 6. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his son, Colin Green. Alejandro Zapian Mata. Sergeant Alejandro Zapian Mata began serving with the Denver Police Department on May 1st of 2017. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from Metro State University. Sergeant Zapian Mata's previous DPD assignments include Special Operations Response Team and District 6. His new assignment will be District 3. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife, Jordan, parents, Javier and Sandra, siblings, Jorge and Leslie. <laughs> Carl Roller. Sergeant Carl Roller began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 16th of 1994. Sergeant Roller's previous DPD assignments include Officer District 4 Patrol, Technician and Corporal in District 1, and Corporal of our TRU. He has earned three Medal of Valor Awards, three Distinguished Service Cross Awards, three Star Awards, a Life Saving and Police Merit Award. His new assignment will be District 5. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife, Shirley Roller. Anthony Gutierrez McCain. Sergeant Anthony Gutierrez McCain began serving with the Denver Police Department on December 30th of 2013. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Sociology from Metro State University. Sergeant Gutierrez McCain's previous DPD assignments include District 3. His new assignment will be District 6. He has earned official commendation letters. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife Nicole and daughter Sophia. Matthew Trujillo. <laughs> Sergeant Matthew Trujillo began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1st of 2007. Sergeant Trujillo's previous DPD assignments include District 2, DIA, Traffic Operations DI, DUI Unit, and Traffic Operations Neighborhood Enforcement Team. He has earned the service award, several official accommodations, several top cop awards, the Windsor Gardens Optimist Club, and Distinguished Service Cross Award. His new assignment will be District 5. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife Lauren and daughter Ava. <laughs> Rick Milner. 
Sergeant Rick Milner began serving the Denver Police Department on June 30th of 2014. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from Metro State University. Sergeant Milner's previous DPD assignments include District 3 Patrol, District 3 Impact, District 3 Narcotics Detective, and TIU Detective. He has earned multiple official commandary letters. His new assignment will be District 6. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife, Natalie, and daughter, Kelsey. <laughs> Jordan Pitsley. <laughs> Sergeant Jordan Pitsley began serving the Dem Police Department on August 3rd of 2015. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Sociology from the University of Colorado. Sergeant Pitley's previous uh, DPD assignments include District 3 Patrol, District 3 Impact, and District 3 Corporal. His new assignment will be District 6. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife, Mieszka Petsley. Alberto Uyoa. Sergeant Alberto Uyoa began serving with the Denver Police Department on December 28th of 2015. Sergeant Uyoa's previous DPD assignments include District 3 Corporal and District 4 Impact. He has earned the NAMI Award. His new assignment will be District 2. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his dad, Carlos, mom, Marcia, Sister Christina and nephews Ethan and Andrew. <laughs> Matt Clement. Sergeant Matt Clements began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 30th of 2014. Sergeant Clements' previous DPD assignments include District 6 Patrol, District 6 Impact, Detective with the Fentanyl Investigations Team. His new assignment will be District 3. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is fiance Corporal Julie Reyes and kids Kennedy and Carson. Please join me again in congratulating these 11 deserving officers. Please stand if you are able for the benediction <laughs> by Father Dang. Congratulations to uh, the newly promoted chief. I thought like you're gonna give them a hundred dollar cash bonus today. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, we ask you to be with us in a very special way as we face the challenges that we must face each day. Teach us to be compassionate for the innocence that we see. Help us to protect and serve those who depend on us. And when the duty calls to danger, walk closely by our side. Instill in us great courage and be our strength and our guide. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you, Father Day. Please be seated. At the conclusion of this ceremony, we invite you to enjoy refreshments provided by the Office of the Chief of Police 
They are set up here to the left of the stage. To all of our newly promoted officers, please come to the front of the stage for a group photo following the end of this ceremony. There will also be a photo opportunity for the officers and their families immediately following the ceremony right here in the front of the stage. In closing, achieving promotion within the Denver Police Department is an exceptional accomplishment. These 11 members of the department standing in front of you today have demonstrated through their hard work that they are ready and committed to leading others in fulfilling the mission of the Denver Police Department. Again, congratulations. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you all for coming.